Hi everyone, uh, this is Gosh, and I've been doing real estate since 2006. So over the years, I've been helping people in renting uh, their uh, houses, their condos, their townhouses. And a lot of people, they believe in the system of using a realtor to rent their properties because we do follow a system of how to qualify the tenants. And it is important, even in today's market, when the market is so hot for tenants and uh, landlords, uh, people don't have places to stay. A lot of immigrants are coming in on a daily basis. Uh, but still, it is important to qualify them because if you get the perfect uh, tenant, then your investment is secure. You have no hassles, you're getting paid in time and nothing to worry about. But if uh, for some reason you don't get that right tenant, then it's a nightmare. So today I'm doing this video because I recently a client of mine, uh, they have just finished their basement and they did a legal basement in Mississauga. And they were asking me, gosh, uh, now that our basement is almost ready for renting, um, what would you recommend? Uh, how, who, who should we rent it to? So there are a couple of options that what you can do uh, if you're thinking about re renting your property or your basement. Um, do you give it to as an Airbnb? What are the pros and cons of that? Do you give it to students? What happens if you give it, give it to students? Is that a good idea? What about professionals? Or do you give it to a family? So every each one of, uh, each one of these categories has their own series of good things why you should give it to them or there are some um, disadvantages let's say for instance with students um, they usually pay a little bit extra than a regular person uh, just because uh, they don't have a lot of paperwork to support their um, support their files but the turnover is also uh, quite quick and usually they don't um, they are young and they don't take care of the property that well um, if you give it to a family, there is always a stability, they will uh, pay the rent in time. But again, if you have some um, thoughts that, oh, maybe in a year or two years, I might think about selling this property, then um, is it going to be easy to um, kind of um, uh, tell them to leave? So there are different options and different uh, advantages and disadvantages um, of who should you who you should uh, rent it rent the uh, rent your property to. For more questions, please don't hesitate to get in touch with me at ohmygosh.com. Thank you.